Nationwide fame, praise and a string of primetime appearances on America's top news networks. The on-air resignation of an RT America anchor in protest at the channel's coverage of Crimea quickly made her a mainstream media darling. But what looked to many like a brave and principled protest move may have been a carefully planned ambush, as RT's Sam Sachs reports. RT has been in the spotlight recently since an anchor resigned two weeks ago here at the network. And a new article published in Truth Dig this week by reporters Rania Kalik and Max Blumenthal reveal a group of neoconservative organizations that took a particular interest in that former anchor's on-air announcement. Enter the Foreign Policy Initiative, a think tank founded in 2009. As the organization notes in its mission statement, the United States and its democratic allies face many foreign policy challenges. They come from rising and resurgent powers, including China and Russia. Now, here's a question. Why was the Foreign Policy Initiative's official Twitter account predicting that a former RT anchor was about to resign on air minutes before she actually did? There's the tweet right there. You can read it for yourself. No one at the initiative has cared to answer that question. But someone who might know is this guy, Jamie Kerchick, who just so happens to work at the Foreign Policy Initiative and just like the initiative, he's obsessed with Russia, particularly this network, RT. He also secured the first interview with the former RT anchor just an hour after she resigned. Check out his bio over at the Daily Beast where he writes, notice he's done no reporting on anything else other than RT recently. He even stopped by the RT offices here in Washington, D.C. last week to say hello to everyone. So, hello, Jamie. Kerchik, who's criticized RT as a state-funded media outlet, previously worked at state-funded media outlets like Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, which receives its funding from the U.S. Congress and beams pro-American messages to Eastern Europe, places like Ukraine. Kerchik's colleague at the Daily Beast, Eli Lake, has also devoted a lot of ink to fear-mongering about Russia and criticizing this network. So too has BuzzFeed reporter Rosie Gray, both have taken particular interest in the on-air resignation of the former RT anchor, as well as writing several stories about it, and both have been connected to this guy. This is Michael Goldfarb, who founded the ultra-conservative Washington Free Beacon newspaper and was formerly a PR lobbyist for the nation of Georgia during its war with Russia. As the Truth Dig article alleges, Goldfarb fed Georgian PR to Eli Lake, now a national security correspondent at the Daily Beast, and Rosie Gray, the BuzzFeed reporter, who produced the recent expose on RT. Now, looking at all of this, media critic Danny Schechter thinks this battle being waged against RT is a proxy battle for neocons who are pushing a certain foreign policy agenda. This was actually planned and promoted and publicized to use RT uh, in an argument that these people are having with the Obama administration, namely, they want the Obama administration to be more aggressive. You know, they want to be able to bash Obama for not doing any one of a number of things, which could include bombing Russia or whatever. Now, journalists are always told to dig deeper, that things aren't always as they seem. Maybe that's why it's so important in this case to question more. In Washington, D.C., Sam Sachs, RT.